Ladies and gentlemen, here we are backstage, Demolition of the Fight Series. I'm here with the eternal MMA welterweight champion, Joey Luciano, who would be defending his belt against Matt Val Liberty Hall in Sydney, New South Wales, September 8th or 9th. Yeah, I think it's the 8th. Look, just I should be, really know that. Yeah, just be... Look, you know what it is? It's a UFC. It's like throwing us off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because they're saying it's a day before because of the Americans, but they're Sunday morning. I think we're Friday night. Yeah, and is this the toughest part of your training camp? A hundred percent. Yeah, I'm confused. Now, mate, you wanted to, you really wanted the Matt Vale fight. You've, you've got it. Um, we've talked about, obviously, the concerns and whatnot, but as you are a couple of weeks out, I mean, take us through, you get the fight, you get excited, you start to get through the training camp, you're now heading into this huge bout. This could be your last bout on the regional scenes. Do you feel that pressure at all? No, and I think... I've said this to you before. No one puts more pressure on themselves daily than I do. This, the belt stuff's irrelevant. Um, this is quite a unique career path, to say the least. So, you know, I've, the pressure is insurmountable. I always have on myself, and I thrive under pressure. So that's that's no problem. Um, yeah, it could be my last one on the scene. Hopefully I go out and spark him and off to the races. But if not, I just keep plodding along and keep doing this thing that I love to do. But, um, yeah, no more pressure than normal. Does it ever get, you know, oh, I should go get a real job? Like, <laughs> does it ever get, does it ever wane on you at all? I mean, like, you're at that, that bit where it's like, you do have to keep pushing, but you hear a lot of guys in the UFC where they go like, oh, I was on bloody Centrelink before I made it. or Like, this is the pointy end where you do start either running out of money, running out of patience, running out of emotion for the sport. I've run out of money a long time ago, so... Is that where you live in Thailand? Irrelevant. Pretty much. Um, the money thing's kind of irrelevant. The patience thing is also irrelevant. So... Yeah, I'm, I like I, this is a lifestyle for me. You know, you, I saw you last night at Hex. I was cornering and coaching, and I uh, had the two boys on this morning, this morning, t- this afternoon, t- this evening. So, um, do you have CTE? I do. Can't remember dates or where I am. <laughs> well, it's interesting because uh, we were at Hex. I have now officially helped you with your training camp. Did I not? Uh, well. Did we or did we not grapple? We did have a bit of a wrestle because I saw you allowed Van Eden to interview you, but you interview me, so I wanted to assert some dominance on you. Did you not, do you not remember, in May... I don't know if you've released that, though, have you? You told me not to. You in- call, yeah. You interviewed me here. We'll save that one for later, actually. <laughs> well, mate, going back to Hex Fight Series, just quickly, I mean, not the greatest uh, day out for you guys. Of, of course, early on, one of the younger guys, Volders, picks up a nice pro win. That's nice. But Sam Kikembo takes a tough loss and Roger Shippen takes a tough loss. How do you get around those guys? Uh, get around them from a mo- an emotional standpoint. I yeah, think. it's like, do you give them their space or what, what's the process? That depends on each guy and the relationship you've got with them. Like, Raj is here tonight coaching and I've got a bit of a unique relationship with Raj because we've known each other for so long across different gyms and, you know, he's the type of guy I can just message and be like, hey, mate, are you all good? And he might go, no. or yeah, I am and I want to get back in there and all of that, so... It's, it's so personal how people handle defeat and losses and setbacks and, you know, that's just something you've got to have a bit of a connection with the guy and see how that is. You know, we, I went and got, grabbed a meal with Sam after the fight and, you know, he, he divulges how he feels and some people are a bit more reclusive with how they feel and, yeah, it, it, it's just like with anything, it's interpersonal relationships, right? And do you break down their fights? I mean, Raja lost within a minute, uh, the knee, not within a minute, but like quit pretty early on, the knee gets thrown, he's, uh, it's over quite quickly. Sem gets uh, ultimately like, like physically looks battered at the end of the fight type thing. What do you, do you go straight in and go, you know what you did wrong, or do you not even touch that? No, I, I give the guys some space, and I think, you know, the position I'm in on this team the boys value my opinion and they can come to me for that I'll always if you ask me a question I'll always give you an answer whether you like that or not as you probably well what know. did what did I what did I do wrong in our grapple when we grappled there was a draw in the back of the change room when Khan Offley did jump in it was a two-on-one but what did I do wrong you put your bicep in my mouth and asked me to yeah you bit me yeah dude I don't fight fair it's the streets dude I see red and it's on like no like you legitimately bit me like people think oh, he's joking like no you 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 bit down. 
No, I didn't. That's a lie. Does That's a lie, dude. See here? That's where you got me. That's a complete lie. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> no, mate, look, before I let you go, uh, leading into this fight, um, I just want to know, will we see the best of Joey Luciano, or do you think there's still a couple of years away before you're at your peak? I want a real answer. I'll give you a real answer. There's so many avenues and so many ways to do this sport. Time is not infinite in this. If, if I could stay 25 to 35 for the next 50 years, you'd get better every day. There's so many... Like, I could become a leg lock guy next week and do that for 10 years and never master it. So do you ever see the best of fighters, their true best? I don't know. But... Every time I step in the ring, you will see the high-performance athlete doing the absolute most he can to achieve victory, for sure. And are you being a dumb C-word, and are you on the gear? I am not on any of the gear, but I am a dumb cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Joey Luciano, a talent of May, a welterweight champion, who will defend his belt in Sydney September 8th or 9th against Matt Vale at Liberty Hall. Mate, best of luck. Thank you, mate. I should really find out what day I'm fighting. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Thank you.